What's up everybody, it's Upfire here, and today we're going to do a trailer breakdown of Marvel Rivals, which is a new 6v6 game that's like Overwatch style, but third person from Marvel. And I'm pretty hyped for it because, you know, I've been dying for a new PvP game for a while, and this might be it. So you're going to see a lot of playing and pausing throughout this trailer, just so I can break down things that I see. So let's get into it. Alright, we're starting out in Asgard. And you're showing your 6v6 team, which the first team is Rocket Raccoon, Groot, Luna Snow, Namar, Magic, and Loki. Pick your hero. And they're going against Peter Parker, which is Spider-Man, Penny Parker, Iron Man, Bruce Banner, and he's going to turn into the Hulk, and Black Panther. We got Doctor Strange in here. He could float, which is dope. And this is what I was meaning. Bruce Banner being able to turn into the Hulk. And he could leap. And he just clapped Namar in the air, which is pretty dope because you saw two things there. You saw Namar was able to float. And he had like some type of water orb around him. But you also saw Loki. You saw Loki shooting his little beams in the sky on the top right. Like he's doing no damage. But what's interesting here is that you see the Hulk, the Hulk has 900 HP, but when he was Bruce Banner, he only had 200. So if you could clap Bruce Banner real quick, kill him, you're in the money. He has 25, uh, whatever that plasma gun is, but he only has 200 HP. But as soon as he turns into the Hulk, there's a wrap. 900 HP and his ability change on the bottom. All right, so he goes up, claps him, bomb. He's dead. And he had a beam throw, which is crazy. Because look, he went like this. And he hit Iron Man in the air. Alright, whoever's playing Iron Man here need to work on that aim, but they kill Rocket. <laughs> That's pretty dope. Opening the portal to the objective. I know this is Spider-Man's ultimate because if I hide my camera right now, and you look on the bottom right here, you can see like this little box here. And as soon as he goes through the portal, and pops all those spider webs that goes right back to zero percent and usually ultimates in games you know they go from zero and they work their way up to a hundred percent basically overwatch that's how overwatch works and then spider-man just popped his ultimate which that's what it looks like and then you got luna snow skating swag surfing on them luna snow just gave him armor that's why they show luna snow's pov and then she gave him armor and then he throws the turret down you see when the turret gets thrown down and starts shooting you see this starts putting an x which means the hit markers are hitting which is pretty dope. So with Loki, you could put a decoy of yourself and then transport to that decoy. But also, you can replicate the enemy. So he's going to turn into Black Panther, which is that's Loki's ultimate. And when he turns into Black Panther, he, he instantly gets Black Panther's ultimate. And he can instantly use it as well, which is pretty dope. And then we have magic here. This looks like this is her ultimate. But she's slashing and she's doing heavy DPS right there. And we got Rocket and Groot. Rocket going ham, just like Guardians of the Galaxy on Groot's back. And then Iron Man just let down the beam. We got Penny Parker going in. Hulk doing Hulk things. Doctor Strange, he just, what he just did there, he just froze them. That's crazy, like he stopped time, just like the, uh, the Ayagamoto does. Look, see how they just stopped moving? And their bodies, uh, you see the their astral projection of their body just went from the back, look. And they're not moving. I guess you could do damage to them when they're just sitting there. And we got Luna Snow, Magic, Amar, Groot, Rocket, Black Panther, Loki, Spider-Man. And then we got Asgard in the back. And then we have here, which looks like Galacta, which is the daughter of Galactus. And she sounds like she's going to be the announcer and probably the one in charge of this whole Marvel Rivals game. You know what I'm saying? Because she looks like she's the head honcho. That's what I think. And then she selected the next team. You saw her touching that orb or the crystal. And you can see the next team is Storm, Magneto, Star-Lord, Mantis, The Punisher, and Scarlet Witch. So I wanted to see, you know, more of a backstory of why this game is happening. You know, what's happening lore-wise in this game. And I went to MarvelRivals.com and I looked at the game info and here's what it has to say. 
The merciless clash between tyrannical dictator Dr. Doom and his future counterpart from the year 2099 has forced countless universes to collide in the time stream entanglement, creating new worlds and crisis unknown. Now superheroes and villains from across the multiverse must fight together and against one another as disparate groups each seek to best both dooms before one achieves domination of these realities. Familiar faces become newfound foes while former enemies become the greatest of allies in Marvel. Marvel Rivals. So Doctor Doom is obviously playing a big part in this game. And that's the Marvel Rivals breakdown from yours truly. I have a lot of questions myself. Is this game going to be cross play, cross save? Is it going to be free to play or is it going to be you're going to have to pay for it? Are there going to be loot boxes? Is there going to be a battle pass? Is there going to be a season pass? Is there going to be DLC? And obviously I am pretty sure there's going to be cosmetics because there's so many Marvel villains and heroes and there's so many comics and outfits that they all have individually. So I'm pretty sure there has to be cosmetics and it's going to be in third person. So guess what? Your cosmetics are probably going to mean something because you can actually see them. <laughs> but overall, you know, I got a lot of questions, but this has a lot of potential. And uh, I'm pretty excited for Marvel Rivals. But what do you think? Who do you want to see in this game? I haven't seen Deadpool or uh, Wolverine in there. So those are two that I would like to see in there, you know, chopping it up and bodying people. But who would you like to see? Let me know in the comments section below. As always, this is Alfaro signing out. And if you want to see more Marvel Rivals content, hit that subscribe button. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.